Welcome to the future of gaming. I'm Invincible, and this is the Playable Games Weekly Update video. Our mission is to create play-to-earn games that transport you to a different place, that immerse you in the experience, and allow you to experiment with being something more than yourself. Directing the ownership, design, and economy of these games to the people who play them, and to reward those players with in-game assets they own. Stay tuned, because we've got news about the new Playable Games blockchain, Nexus, War of Steel, Dogs of War, and Colony Mars. This week, our dev team continues to test the Playable Games blockchain. We partnered with Aviscan, so you can keep up with the test there. If you want to learn more about this, join our Discord and ask a moderator to help you get started. Nexus is a team versus team shooter game, also known as a MOBA. I've got something special this week. Here we are pushing this lane with minions against the other team's minions meeting at the middle of the bottom lane. Abilities on display across the center of the bottom of the screen and the first look at another weapon, the grenade launcher. Triple kill! Stay tuned every week for more info about Nexus. War of Steel is a mech battle royale game. When players aren't in a giant mech, they move freely about the battlefield. Battles in this game will be many different sizes and matchups, always keeping you on your toes and ready to improvise in order to win. Put your hype in the chat below for War of Steel. Dogs of War is a survival game and is Old Bull's pet project. Check out this loading screen. It looks so good. It feels alive with all the debris flying around. I just can't wait to click play. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Should we use this loading screen for Dogs of War? Colony Mars lets players build their own farm businesses. Here on Mars, you can see the apple trees are adding to the greening effect. My farm is really starting to come together now. Stay tuned each week for more info about Colony Mars. Remember to represent your favorite gaming studio by acquiring merch at playablegames.store. We've got stickers, hats, hoodies, shirts, and more. You can trade bull token on Trader Joe's, L Bank, and Bitmart. Bitmart currently shows the price at 0. .0004 or four hundredths of a penny. The volume of transactions is averaging over $286,000 per day this week for a total of $2,006,000 in volume for the last seven days. The market cap is currently $907,556. There are 50,000 notes for sale total total of which 4,380 nodes have been sold. Currently, 1,563 coins per node per day are distributed and 45,620 nodes remain for sale. The current price for a node is 4,400 US dollars and there are 20 nodes left at that price before it increases to 4,500 US dollars each node. Remember, you can use Snowtrace to keep up with playable games on the Avalanche blockchain at your convenience. There are currently 1,236 wallets that hold very important bull passes. There are currently 2,156 Seven wallets that hold playable games nodes. And there are currently 2,194 wallets that hold bull token. Remember that our mission at Playable Games is to create play to earn games that transport you to a different place, that immerse you in the experience and allow you to experiment with being something more than yourself. Directing the ownership, design, and economy of these games to the people who play them and to reward those players with in game assets they own. That's all the new info I have this week. Please let us know your questions in the comments below for a chance to be featured in a future AMA video. I hope you all learned something this week during our recap, and if you did, please like the video to tell YouTube to share it with other likely viewers. Subscribe for more playable games content and hit that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. I'm Bruno, aka Invincible, and I'll see you all again next week.